Today, I will be showing you how to make this wine cork tray. Hey everyone, I'm Allie, and so for our craft today, here are some things you're gonna need. Um, so first, I have black paint and a little sponge paintbrush, because I'm going to paint the bottom of this black, since inside of this tray there is a pattern, and I don't want to be able to see that through the corks when I glue them down. I also have some painter's tape, parchment paper, and cardboard to cover these handles so none of the resin spills out when I am making the craft. Um, resin does not stick to parchment paper or wax paper, so that is why I have that. I obviously have my corks. For me, I cut all of the corks in half, just because so they don't go over the edge of the handle. Um, but up to you if you want to cut them in half or leave them whole when you're making one of these. I also have some hot glue to glue down those corks into the bottom. I have my resin and hardener to mix to pour over the corks. I also have some paint sticks and a flattener um, to help spread out to the resin and some silicone pours here so that the resin does not stick in there and obviously some gloves to help protect my hand. I also have a heat gun over here to help me get out any of those bubbles from that resin. And then lastly, I have some silver flakes some like gold leaf but silver to put on top in the resin so it just makes it a little extra decorative and then i also have some wood so depending on what kind of tray you are using or repurposing um, mine is metal so i have some wood here to put underneath when i am doing the hot glue because this will get very hot once i am gluing those down all right, so to start off, I am going to be using that black paint to paint to the bottom of my pin here. All right, so now that the paint has dried, what I did was I laid out all of my corks inside here just to make sure the spacing looks good. And I also added my little pieces of cardboard and parchment paper and painter's tape on here to cover up the holes just so I have that ready to go once all of this is glued down. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up my corks as I go around and glue them down into the bottom. All right, so now that I have all of my corks glued down in here, I let it dry for just a little bit so everything can harden up in there. And it's gonna depend how many corks you need on how big your tray that you are repurposing is. It also depends if you cut them in half or if you keep them whole. Obviously, if you keep them whole, you're gonna need more than if you would cut them in half. But I just line them up in a circular motion around this oval tray just how I wanted it to look. And now on to our next part. Now is where it gets a little bit trickier. We are going to start mixing up our resin and pouring that into our tray. So what you need to do for that, obviously you're gonna need some gloves to protect your hands. All right, and what you need to do is you're going to do equal parts for both of these. So on the side of my little silicone pour here, it has measurements in milliliters. And what you wanna do is equal parts. So make sure you get the measurements exactly. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna close those up just to make sure I don't spill anything. And then you're going to mix this for about five to seven minutes until everything is completely stirred together. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a second little container because I know I'm gonna need quite a bit for this so that I have it ready to pour all together. All right. 
Alrighty, so now that I have both of these mixed up and how I knew that they were really good mixed up was when you start mixing them you get some of these like white wisps in there and it gets a little cloudy and now they are completely clear again. There's a few bubbles in there but obviously that will get out with the heat gun once we pour that in and they start to harden a little bit. So you have about 45 minutes to work with this stuff once you have mixed it together. So I'm gonna pour both of these in, see how far it gets me and probably mix some more. And I am going to pour one layer. It probably won't completely cover the corks, um, but I'm going to pour one layer to about 3 16 to an eighth of an inch high, um, depending on how far Oh, we get it and then we'll let that first layer dry and then we will come back and put our second layer on. Alright, so I have poured all of this in that I've mixed up. I mixed about uh, 240 milliliters so far to put in. Like I said, it doesn't completely cover all of the corks. Um, and I use the heat gun a little bit to get rid of some of those bubbles. As I let this harden a little bit more, I'm gonna come back and use a heat gun just to keep cleaning it up, but I don't want the resin to get too hot. It'll just keep creating more bubbles as it sits and hardens. Um, I'm going to let this sit for about four to five hours um, just so that it's still a little bit tacky then when we put the next coat on, which is exactly what we want. And the cool thing about resin is that it kind of evens itself out at some point. So this table isn't exactly level. So I did put a couple sticks underneath one side of this tray just to help it even out but yeah, so we'll be back in about four hours to do our next layer. All right, so now it has been about four hours. This bottom layer is a little tacky yet. So perfect time to mix up my next layer and put that right on top. So we're just gonna do the same thing as we did before equal parts resin, equal parts hardener. All right, and now that I have that last layer in, I have some of this little silver leaf here that I am going to put into that layer of resin just to make it a little bit more decorative. Alright, and there we go. So that is our final product. Now that we have put that extra little sparkle into our tray, obviously it's not completely dry yet because I just finished it, um, but it'll take about 72 hours for it to be completely solid so that you can use it again. And once I have it all dried after that 72 hours, I'm going to do is take these little pieces off here and make sure I like how it looks on the edges around those little holes. But yeah, that is it. So like I said, it is always a different number of corks depending on what size of a tray you are repurposing. But make sure to continue watching our YouTube channel, like and subscribe so you can see more fun crafts just like this and other fun videos that we will be doing. And make sure to stop into the winery or order online any of your favorite bottles of Von Steel wine from us so you can make crafts just like this one. Have a great rest of your day guys, bye.